All right, Shalom, Makim Shalom. <clears throat> it's the brother Yahweh Shapak coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone who teach Ruel well in the scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and their right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. This is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Let's see, I want to get one more scripture, and then I'm going to read um, into an article about Sleepy Joe's uh, barrage of executive orders that he signed since being in the office. This is uh, Romans 9 and 28. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness because the short work will the Lord make upon the earth. So this is an article, Lockyer. And I read those scriptures. You know, I gathered those scriptures through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai because things are moving quickly. The days are being shortened. I mean, you know, it, our perception of time has changed because the Lord is literally speeding things up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's things are moving so fast you can barely keep up with the days. You know, like a week feels more of like four or five days now, man. You know, because you you can actually take an hour from each day, you know. So, um, yeah, man, things are moving quickly. These devils are passing a lot of laws. And um, a, a lot of people aren't being made privy to them. You know, a lot of people just don't, you know, they blindly, I mean, they blindly put their care and their lives in these Edomites' hand, man. And then especially our people, they don't give a damn. Ooh, excuse me. People don't care, man. And they don't have any clue what's going on. Whether it's Esau's media or alternative media, our people are just, they don't care. They don't care to know. You know, they don't want to hear anything that brings them out of their uh, simplistic mind state of just being a sheep. You know, that's why the scriptures say our uh my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, or roughly paraphrasing that scrap scripture in second Ezra. Yeah, man, Jake is gonna get hit hard by m uh, many of these different laws that E is putting in, because it's it's all about you, Jake. I mean, you gotta wonder why does Biden wanna start letting, you know, Issachar, uh mainly Issachar the Northern Kingdom over here all of a sudden. That's because they ain't finna do nothing but trap a bunch of them. They, 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 they coming for us, man. They ain't gonna do nothing but lock a bunch of them up in them goddamn uh, concentration camps. They ain't gonna do nothing but kill a lot of them. You gotta understand, hey, our people need, and it's well time, it's like the scriptures say, it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Know who you're dealing with. You're dealing with... uh. uh Satan, who masquerades as an angel of light. That's why Esau calls himself white. You know, they saying they're the Israelites because they know they have such a bad, you know what I'm saying, reputation attached to who they really are. They don't want to be known as the, the nation of Edom because the scriptures, you know, heavily um, condemns the nation of Edom. You know, they want to be us bad as hell, but they can't be. 
But anyway, Salakia so for Red Nakia. I'm going to get into some of these uh, uh, executive orders. So, let's see, it says as he embarks on his first full work week as president, Biden is poised to continue scrapping a number of the Trump administration's policies, including the controversial transgender military ban. See, because Obama, when he was in office, I believe he made the first, he allowed for the first military general, I mean, he allowed for somebody of a high rank in the military to be gay. Obama approved of that. Trump didn't. And, you know, I don't know what the hell is going on with Trump, whether he got in the office and decided he was going to, you know, play dirty with the elite. I don't know. But I do know that uh, homosexuality is a part of their agenda because that's a, a huge form of population control. If you have men cutting off their genitalia and um, wanting to be women, you have less mating going on. You have, and, and vice versa. If you have two men with each other and two women with each other, they can't reproduce. That's a part of population control. See, people think that they're, especially these fucking sodomites, man, they think that they're, uh, uh, they winning. No, you're still being controlled. There is no such thing as freedom here. You know what I'm saying? And and that's Biden, that's one of Biden's biggest thing. He wants to a uh, sodomize this damn place. He wants this place brought under a sodomite vibration, which in all actuality is the Lord you know, mixing a perverse spirit in the midst of this place because he wants to destroy this place. And when he gets ready to, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah will be, they will be justified in doing so. But again, I got into a rant. It was a spiritual one. That's one of the um, unrighteous decrees that he's passing. I shouldn't have to, uh, you know, be in a bathroom with a woman that thinks she's a, a man. Or be a, a woman shouldn't have to be in, in, in a restroom or, or play sports with a man turned woman. You know, this shit's just getting out of fucking hand, man. This shit is sickening. And they want to normalize this. See, used to, you used to could have an opinion about it or, or whatever. Now you have to literally be po uh, politically correct when you're speaking about homosexuality. Or else you face being ostracized. By this society as a whole. And hey man. You so called black women. You Israelite women. Y'all. A lot of y'all are going to die. Not all of you are going to die. But a lot of you are going to die. Because the biggest fucking fan. Of homosexual Jake men. Is Eve. And they push that shit. They like that shit man. You think Esau likes. Hey he's already scared of us. Because we're naturally stronger than he is. We naturally intimidate this man. That's why he does everything in his power to keep all the tribes down, mainly Judah. They keep a fucking boot on our necks. That's because they know when the spirit of Yahweh by some Yahweh shot get on us to turn up, man, all the tribes going to follow suit. They always do. And when Judah turn up, because the Lord put the spirit on them to do so, ain't no turning us down. This ain't when, when, when the Lord raise up uh, 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 the son, uh, thy son, like the scriptures say, I will raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. When I have made them as the sword of a mighty man, hey, the Lord's gonna use His people to exact vengeance on the on these Edomites, man. You know. So, point being, I see he he uh, he repealed uh, most of Trump's um. Uh, decrees that he wrote up. The 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 ones that I really wanted to get on is um this right here. These draconian laws. See, because they got a saying in the world. Well, if I let you do that, they got a saying in the world. If I give you an inch, you gonna take a mile. Yeah, everybody giving Esau inches. He's taking miles. You know, they also got another saying, well, if I let you do that, where is the buck stop? If they can mandate you and force you to wear a mask, I just heard the elder brother Shapatya uh, doing a lesson. You think they not going to force a damn microchip on you or a vaccination? 
you got to be out of your damn mind. You don't have a grip on reality, man, if you think these people don't have it out for you. Because, see, right now all he's doing is setting the stage. It's called gradualism. You know, just like they've been doing with this whole chip in this in in, 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 in inside of the card. They know that, man, I got to get a new goddamn card at least every five months or so, man. You know what I'm saying? I bank with Chime. Thing is, they know that they 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 they, they uh, they're moving us towards the idea of the chip because see, plastic credit cards get old. You got to renew them. You know what I'm saying? They can get lost or stolen. That's gonna be their reason for passing out. They gonna make it. They gonna they gonna try to make it because a lot of people are gonna take it, man. They gonna try to make it to where you feel like it's a technological advance you have in this chip, you know? And, hey, for some, it will, because he, through that chip and through this, uh, uh, his new medical technology that Yahweh Basim Yahweh gave him, he's going to be able to perform miracles on the left-hand side. But, like I say, all these laws are still, and, and you see he signed 48, and he ain't even been in office a month yet. Or it might have just been, yeah, it's just coming around a month. He, they saying he's done more than any president in their time period. So that lets you know when they put Biden in there, they put Biden in there to handle business. They know they don't got nothing but a short time. So they, hey, they telling him move fast. And that's what the fuck he's doing, man. Excuse my language. Ultimately, Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah is putting the spirit on these devils to move fast because they don't, they know they got a short time left. They listen to the videos. They listen to the elder apostles of GMS and the brothers on down. You know, they know what's going on because the spirit of the Lord is on the prophets to tell them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep going down. It says executive order coordinating a government-wide COVID-19 response, which means the federal government is going to be involved in making a response towards this so-called pandemic. And you know what that means. They're going to be involved in passing out the vaccine and the chip. It's going to be hard to tell a bunch of soldiers with guns, you not taking no vaccine and no chip. If the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ain't with you, you're going to be in a, in a in up shit's creek without a paddle, man. You know? Let's see. It says executive order revising immigration in, uh, enforcement policies. Executive order, uh, which all of these are important, but you know. Let's see. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into all of them. This is another another one I wanted to talk about. Executive order banning discrimination on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation. He's pushing sodomy. And like I said, that's all a part of their plan. First off, they want to do everything opposite of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah wants them to do. They designed this place in direct opposition to the Heavenly Father's laws. That's why we can't, we got to get the hell up out of here, man. We need deliverance. We can't keep the laws here, you know? We can't dwell in peace and safety here amongst these damn devils. We have to be set in our own land. Yahweh you know, hey, he has to come and set our kingdom up. You know, but the point is, man, this place, hey, Revelations 11 and 8, 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street. You know, uh, hey, the, the, the Revelations 11 and 8, roughly paraphrasing, refers to this place as a, uh, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. If you don't know why, I ain't going to explain it, man, because it's self-explanatory through the spirit. What was Sodom and Gomorrah known for? And what were they destroyed for? Sodomy, man. This place is going in the same direction, and it's making Sodom and Gomorrah look like a snotty-nosed kid. America is the adult rated R version of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You know? Let's see, what else did he pass? Yeah, and, and all of these draconian laws that they're putting out 
like I said, it's a gradual way of you, you know, slipping into to letting them get more control without making a fuss about it. You know, if they would have just come out and say everybody, hey, they they know they're going to be met with resistance regardless, but they know they'd experience a high volume of it if they just came straight out and flat out and just tried to do it. And it's not go. They're not going to do that. They're going to ease you into it. Let's see. Data-driven response to COVID-19 is another by another Biden's orders on the nation's COVID-19 response directed all department and agency heads to facilitate the gathering, sharing, and publication of COVID-19 related data in order to inform their decision making and public understanding of the pandemic. Mm. Well, we know what this means. If he's requesting that they promote a data-driven response, what do you think that's going to entail? Hey, your shot records and all that is going to be on that chip. Your vaccination records will be on that chip. Your, all your information is going to be on that chip. They're setting the stage for the chip and the vaccine. Let's see what else he didn't, he got. Mm, this is interesting. Executive order. Let's see, what does this one say? Well, see this right here. It shows you how he's involving uh, the military more in his um, affairs of dealing with the people. They're not going to be having doctors come to your door and tell you to take the vaccine. They're going to have military men, soldiers do that. Let's see. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot going on, man. But you know, there's a lot. There's another unrighteous decree. Executive order reversing transgender military brand ban. Reinstated COVID-19 travel restrictions. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. Let's see. Executive order promoting by American agenda, whatever. And hey, I'm a I'm not gonna go through every last one of these, you know, brothers, you sisters that are listening and learning. I can, you know, the the it's an NBC News article. It was posted about like ten hours ago, so it's fairly fresh. You guys can check that out if you want to. But hey, I'm a um I'm gonna close out with that, man. You know. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna close out with another scripture. Cause you know, he's pushing the homosexuality thing heavy, man. And that's going to be one of the main reasons this place meets the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah. And the scriptures speak about that. So I'm going to close out with that. Read us Isaiah, the 13th chapter. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 19. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, which is talking about where we're staying now, America, a.k.a. Babylon, the great, that's his biblical name, 
the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know why, man. Close out with one more scripture. Because these are scriptures. I quoted this one, but I, you know, I didn't go to it. This is Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So hey, I'm going to end out with that. You know, just hey, be aware, man. Satan is moving quickly. And um, hey, things are going to get tougher on us. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be implementing more and more draconian laws. More and more freedoms are going to be taken from people. And things are going to get tighter and tighter and tighter until hey, eventually things, you know, blow over, man. But, you know, just exhortation, just, you know, a warning. You know, be aware, man. Be aware of um, things like that. You know, articles like that. Biden and what's he, you know, you got you to gotta watch, man. You know, the scriptures do say watch as well as pray. And that's our job. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hey, I'm not going to rant and go on and on. Hopefully this is edifying. You know, stay aware, man. Be circumspect. Be aware of your surroundings all at all times to the best of your ability. Until the next one, I say Shalom.